So in a recent video, I said I was going to talk about myself and my life and my trauma and stuff like that considerably less, but I also said I wasn't going to not talk about it at all. But when you take a look at my recent videos here, uh, you'll notice two things. Only like one out of five videos is about me um, and like personal to me. And those are the videos that are doing well. The ones that I upload in between get a fraction of the views. But I, you know what? I'm going to keep doing both types. And if you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to watch it. How do you live with yourself? It's not easy. So the other day, I had somebody ask me a question in the comments section. This was the question. How do you live with yourself? It's not easy. No one really got into my head. How do you live with yourself? It's not easy. See, I'm 48 years old, and I've certainly made more than my fair share of mistakes. Um, I'm living with those mistakes now. And uh, it's, a, it's a struggle sometimes. But I thought there's some good information here for the people who might be asking themselves the same question. So I thought I'd share some techniques. The first step is forgiveness. And I know this can be hard for some people. It always came very naturally to me. But imagine someone in your life did something wrong. You most likely would forgive them, right? What if they had done the exact same thing you did that you regret so much that you're trying to live with? Would you forgive them? Would you be there for them? Would you try to be a friend to them? Because if you are, you owe that to yourself. You have to forgive yourself. You have to understand that you're only human, that some of the situations you were in were tough. You weren't always going to make the right decision. And that's okay because not everybody does. If you learn to forgive yourself, I think it is an extremely powerful tool. Forgiveness is an extremely powerful tool no matter how you use it. It's a great way to repair relationships. It's a great way to recover from things. It's a great way to let go. In fact, every major religion, specifically the Christian religion, teaches forgiveness as a cornerstone of that religion. So if you're going to forgive your neighbor, if you're going to forgive those that wronged you, why wouldn't you apply that same standard to yourself and forgive yourself and let it go, man? It's in the past. You got to let it go. I mean, I spent the first half of my adulthood angry at the people that abused me. And then I spent the rest of my life angry at myself. How did that serve me? I destroyed my career after my divorce. I destroyed my body. It never helped. Letting go, forgiveness though, has allowed me to start getting slightly better over the last few years, and I, I think that's pretty great. Secondly, the mistakes you've made don't have to be regrets. They can be learning opportunities. They can be an opportunity for you to get better. Maybe you're trying to do a specific thing, beat your eating disorder, find the right mate, uh, get mentally, physically better and you're having trouble doing it, every time you make a mistake in that venture, you have an opportunity to learn a little bit better about how to do the thing that you're trying to do, and you'll get a little bit better every time you mess up until eventually you get it right. And that's everything in life. That's your career. That's your job. That's your hobby. That's your love life. That's your mental health. You'll make mistakes. Sometimes you'll make the same mistake multiple times, but each time... It's just like doing math. It's just like learning anything in school. You learn a little bit each time. And when you finally get it right, you'll know you've got that success built off of the failures you've made in the past. It's only when we choose not to learn, it's only when we choose not to get better, that they become regrets. So don't live your life with regret. Live your life with lessons learned and use those lessons to get better. That's what I'm trying to do, though it seems like I'm a pretty slow learner, huh? Thirdly, and this one is very difficult for me, but it's letting things go. Have you ever had a car that you loved but it was falling apart, right? Have you ever had a toxic ex? Have you ever had to put an animal down that you loved? You had to let it go because it, it was difficult, it was painful, it was hurtful. Sometimes you have to leave a job, a relationship, a city. You've let things go in the past. But now you're refusing to let go of something else painful. And that is your regrets. That is your frustration. That is your anger at yourself. And boy, that was me for the majority of my life. 
And it's something I still struggle with now. I'm not very good at letting go of anything. Possessions, people, or my own anger. But I've begun to apply that to myself. And as I do, it's been easier to learn those lessons. It's been easier to understand my mistakes. It's been easier to forgive. And if you don't let go of it, if you don't set it down, then you can't move forward. Because sometimes things get just too heavy to carry. Sometimes things just become so painful they no longer serve you. Regret, anger at yourself, holding yourself to a higher standard. These things do not serve you. Let it go. Let it go. Look, I can tell you, living with mental illness, living with trauma, living with some of the other issues that I've dealt with in my life, none of them are easy, but I can promise you living with regrets, living with beating yourself up, living with anger is far worse than any of it. That's the hardest thing I've ever dealt with. It's the reason for my downfall in 2018 and 2019, because I was an angry, bitter person, angry at other people, but mostly angry at myself. And it's only through forgiveness that I've made any sense of recovery, even if my YouTube stats don't necessarily reflect it. And I'm saving my final tool here for those of you who drop likes on the videos, for those of you who make it this far into the videos, this is the most powerful tool there is. And that is hope. And listen, let me warn you, hope can be a powerful chain that locks you into a toxic situation, a toxic job, a toxic person that you hope will get better. But you're putting your hope in somebody else and that's not always ideal. But when you put your hope into yourself, when you look at your future and you know that you can do better, that you can learn from your mistakes, you can rise from the ashes of the things that you've burnt down, when you are hopeful that you will create new opportunities for yourself and hopeful that you will get better, that's when things do get better. When you give up on hope, you've given up on life, you've given up on yourself, you've given up on your future. That's when you live with your pain. That's when you live with your regrets. But when you believe and hope that you'll get it right if you keep trying, that you will get better if you keep trying, that you'll find the right position, the right job, the right person, and you keep working towards those things, that's when they happen. So stay optimistic, stay hopeful, believe in yourself, believe in the world and believe in your future. If you don't do that, you'll live in the past. I promise. One of the weirdest things that I've learned through therapy in the last year is that our internal monologue affects our entire lives. That is a struggle for me because my internal monologue is very negative, but a lot of negative things have happened to me. And when good things happen to me, I focused on the negatives. I thought poorly of myself. I thought poorly of other people. I thought poorly of the world. And because I did those things, you know what? A lot of poorly things happened to me and my life was lived poorly. But now that I'm learning to focus on the positive, to focus on the good, to focus on the good in myself, a lot of positive things seem to be happening and the negative things that are happening don't hurt as bad and it's kind of great. So I don't know if my therapist watches my videos. He knows who I am, but if, if you're watching this, bud, mm, thank you. At the end of the day, we all want the same things. We want to be happy. We want to be healthy. We want to have a good life, but your life is already pretty good and happiness is what you make it. Learning to let go and learning to forgive is a big step. Normally during the holidays, I'm pretty miserable, but this year I'm having a good time. I wonder what the difference is. I bet the answers are in this video. And I hope you're having a wonderful holidays as well. I'm rooting for you. I really am. I hope that you have a great one. Whatever situation you find yourself in, I hope you look at the good stuff because there's probably plenty of good out there. And at least it was good to share my time with you today. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon.